Well, hello, and welcome once again to our time of devotion, where we look into God's Word for some encouragement and hope. Uh, today's uh, devotion is entitled, The Unknown Hour. And we've uh, been talking the last several weeks in, in, in church. Uh, the, 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 ending, the end of the church here focuses on the return of Christ and when he will come to judge the living and the dead. So that's what we're uh, talking about as well today. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to read from for you from 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8-14. through 14. It says this, But do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the heavenly bodies will be burned up and dissolved, and the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. Since all these things are thus to be dissolved, what sort of people ought you to be? in lives of holiness and godliness, waiting and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set on fire and dissolved, and the heavenly bodies will melt as they burn. But according to his promise, we are waiting for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. And our devotion, again, is called the unknown hour. And uh, the featured verse is this, Matthew 24, 36. On that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. See, when Christ was, was teaching his disciples privately on the Mount of Olives, they asked him, When shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Christ did not expressly answer these questions. A definite day and an exact moment for the end to appear are fixed, never to be changed. But these things are to be found only in the knowledge of the Father. There has been a, a long parade of would-be prophets, presumptuous enough to set a time for the appearing of Christ when he will come to judge. You know, no such time setter will ever succeed. And Christ said, he said in the word that no man, not the angels of heaven, not even the Son, according to his humanity, but only the Father knows of that day and hour. St. Luke wrote in Acts chapter 1 that, that Jesus explained to his disciples, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. You know, the thing is, we do not need to know the exact time because we live in faith in him who gave his life to take away our sins. Because of that, because he took away our sins, we are always ready for Christ's return in that unknown hour. Join me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, help us so to walk with Jesus day by day that we may rejoice to see him when he comes again. Amen. And then we pray our, our collect, which was from this past Sunday, which um, is, is, is a collect. You know, I'd encourage you to, to use your, your bulletins to pray uh, you know, the introit and the collect, and just to use that. And, if, and, if, and I've mentioned before that we have the prayers at the back of the bulletin, the, the people we can pray for. So I encourage you to do that. Let's, let's pray uh, the collect. Eternal God, merciful Father, you have appointed your Son as judge of the living and the dead. Enable us to wait for the day of his return with our eyes fixed on the kingdom prepared for your own from the foundation of the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Yeah, so it's something we can, we can certainly look forward to, the day of our Lord to return. And that is because we have been made into his forgiven children. 
we have forgiveness of sins. He's prepared the place for us. He's, he has made us into his own dear sheep. We have nothing to fear. Nothing to fear at all at his return. But we'll look forward to that, that great day. Because it'll be a day of wonderful joy for us. And uh, I'd like to read our, from, our, from our closing hymn from this past Sunday, just to read that hymn again. Have no fear, little flock. To remind us not to have fear. Have no fear, little flock. Have no fear, little flock. For the Father has chosen to give you the kingdom. Have no fear, little flock. Have good cheer, little flock. Have good cheer, little flock. For the Father will keep you in his love forever. Have good cheer, little flock. Praise the Lord high above. Praise the Lord high above. For he stoops down to heal you, uplift and restore you. Praise the Lord high above. Thankful hearts raised to God. Thankful hearts raised to God. For he stays close beside you in all things, works with you. Thankful hearts raised to God. And I encourage you to join us for our Thanksgiving service tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock on our, right here on our YouTube uh, channel, which will be live streaming. And we will be uh, lifting up thankful hearts to God and to see that we have so much to be thankful for. And we do, for all our Lord has done for us. Receive the blessing. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you. Amen.